what does diversity mean to you? And earlier you described how to get away with murder as a diversity-oriented program. What does that mean? Um, <laughs> diversity means to me not only people that don't look like me um, being a part of the conversation, but also people of different socioeconomic strata being a part of the conversation. Um, it also means people of, uh, who love differently, different people than I love being a part of the conversation. Um, I love being a black woman. Love it. Yay, go black people. Um, <laughs> Black girl magic, hey, hashtags, hashtags. But uh, I understand that uh, in, this, in this country where the binary has been black and white for so long, because of our history with each other, um, it's excluding millions of other people who have just as valid, interesting stories and talents that are being overlooked. And so as much as I love black people and I love telling the stories of black folk and being involved in things that express stories of black folk, if I were on a show that didn't have people that had a completely different experience than I have had, then it just is not a real diverse experience. And so, you know, I'm not talking parody. I don't, I don't need to see one of each. It's nice to see at least one or two of each in my room, but I'm not seeing one of each, but it has to look like a succotash when I walk in there. That's what diversity means to me. It means a succotash. Uh, and succotashes can be tasty. Um, <laughs> uh, the show is not necessarily a show that is like, it has to be diverse. It is just a show, uh, if you're in law school, these are characters that you're going to come across in a law school. And especially, uh, we wanted to show excellence, and excellence comes from all different types and walks of life. Wes is, is poor. Uh, the Mexicana is extremely wealthy. So we wanted to make sure that all of those experiences were seen on camera. Um, and it's because it was top of mind, I think, in Pete's mind that there is sort of like an interesting, diverse opinion, diverse perspective on things. And so that is how those characters came about. Um, because yeah, that's what the world looks like. So why wouldn't we sort of include those characters in a television series? So then on that note, and I think you know, Shonda Rhimes has been heralded for diversity-oriented program. Mm -hmm. But for you, mm -hmm. what does it mean to live and work in Shondaland? <laughs> it's a rarefied air. I remember when I was on the outside and I was like, oh my God, I love this script. This is so cool, I wish I could work there. Um, and then getting in there and realizing that I was in this thing that people have opinions about because you're not inside um, is hard. Like any other place, any place you go as a writer, your job is going to be difficult. Um, so it's no different. It's not like, you know, there's, you know, Nivea, Nivea lotion to keep you from being ashy or something. It's not like it's a magical place like that where because it's Shondaland, you know, everybody is pretty and there are fashion fair products for people. That's not, that's not what Shondaland is about. Shondaland is just a place where it is. It's because uh, her experience and her view of the world sees what looks like this audience, that's what's going to be reflected on television, not because um, it's uh, magical or because uh, she has a mandate to do it, it's because it is. So don't be stupid, just make it is. You know, stop talking about you know, the difficulty in making a writer's room diverse. Stop talking about how difficult it is to find um, actors of color that um, are up to the standard, or I don't think that the pool is large enough. Shut up and just effing do it already. So, thank you. <laughs>